Have you ever pondered about the connection between globalization and the end times? It's a question that's been sparking curiosity far and wide. You see, globalization isn't just about the integration of economies, cultures and ideas. It's a phenomenon that's sweeping the globe, affecting every facet of our lives. And when we look at it through the lens of the end times, the intrigue deepens. Many people are keen to understand this connection, to delve into the intricacies of how these two concepts intertwine. And that's exactly what we're going to do. From the bustling metropolises of today to the ancient scriptures, we'll trace the threads that link globalization and the end times. Our journey will be guided by the wisdom contained within the pages of the Bible, offering a unique perspective on this fascinating intersection. As we dive into the annals of biblical history, let's unfold this fascinating correlation. To understand the connection, we must first journey back to the biblical era, a time when prophecies were delivered through visions and dreams, and the concept of the end times was painted in vivid and often metaphorical language. The book of Revelation, Daniel, and various other scriptures allude to an era of unprecedented global unity, a time when nations, tongues, and tribes would come together as one. These biblical prophecies, written thousands of years ago, depict a world that is remarkably similar to our own. The Bible speaks of a time when the whole world will be interconnected, with people from all corners of the earth able to communicate and engage with one another. A time when knowledge will increase and people will travel to and fro, a scenario that seems to parallel our present age of information and globalization. Moreover, the Bible prophecies also speak of a global leader who would rise to power, uniting people under a single economic, political, and religious system. This leader, often referred to as the Antichrist, is believed to bring about a false sense of peace and security before ushering in a period of great tribulation. In the book of Revelation, we find a vision of a beast rising from the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, a symbol of this global power structure. This beast is given authority over every tribe, people, language, and nation. This prophecy, along with others, points towards a globalized world, a concept that was inconceivable in the biblical era, but is a reality in ours. It's important to note that these are interpretations of ancient texts, and there are many views on what these prophecies mean. However, the striking resemblance between the biblical descriptions and our current globalized world cannot be ignored. Having established the biblical perspective, it's time to connect the dots with the present world. Fast forward to the modern era, globalization is a reality we live in. So what is globalization? Simply put, it's the process by which businesses, ideas and cultures spread across the world. This phenomenon has been facilitated by advances in technology and communication, leading to a more interconnected and interdependent world. Imagine a giant web where each strand represents a country and the points of contact symbolize the various interactions and exchanges taking place. From trade agreements to cultural exchanges, these interactions have profound impacts on our society, culture, and economy. Let's dive deeper into these impacts. Economically, globalization has led to increased trade and commerce. It's the reason why you can find a Starbucks in Shanghai, or why an iPhone designed in California can be assembled in China with parts sourced from all over the globe. It has allowed us to gain access to a wider range of products and services, often at lower prices. Culturally, globalization has led to the spread of ideas and values. It's why you can hear a South Korean pop song in the United States, or why an American television show can become a hit in Japan. This cultural exchange has fostered understanding and appreciation of different cultures, but it has also led to concerns about cultural homogenization. Societally, globalization has connected us in ways previously unimaginable. Thanks to the internet and technology, we can now communicate with someone halfway around the world in real time. We share experiences, exchange ideas, and collaborate on a global scale. But this interconnectedness also brings challenges such as the spread of misinformation or the potential for cyber attacks. And these are just the tip of the iceberg. Globalization impacts every facet of our lives, from the food we eat to the clothes we wear, to the music we listen to. It shapes our worldviews, influences our decisions, and even affects our identity. Undeniably, globalization has reshaped our world, 
But how does it relate to the biblical end times? Now let's bridge the gap between the biblical prophecies and the globalized world we inhabit. Imagine for a moment the ancient prophets, their words echoing across millennia, painting a picture of a world remarkably similar to our own. They spoke of nations intertwined, people connected across vast distances, and knowledge increasing at an unprecedented rate. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? These prophecies, penned thousands of years ago, are often interpreted as foretelling a globalized world. A world where boundaries are blurred, where the click of a button can bring us face to face with someone on the other side of the globe. A world where cultures and economies are so intermingled that a ripple in one corner can create waves around the world. Many believe this intricate web of global connections aligns with prophetic descriptions of end times. The book of Revelation, for instance, describes a one world government, a universal economic system and a global religion. Theories abound linking these prophecies to the advent of international organizations, digital currencies and the rise of religious pluralism. Yet it's important to remember that these are interpretations. While some see clear parallels, others caution against reading too much into the text. After all, the Bible was written in a time and context vastly different from ours. But there is no denying the allure of these theories. The idea that ancient prophecies might offer a glimpse into our future, that they might provide a roadmap to navigate the complexities of our globalized world, is a captivating one. It's a narrative that continues to resonate, stirring debate and inviting reflection. Whether you subscribe to these theories or view them with skepticism, one thing is clear. Our globalized world, with its rapid exchange of information and interconnected economies, bears a striking resemblance to the visions of the prophets. As we can see, the parallels between the biblical prophecies and our globalized world are undeniably intriguing. As we come to the end of this journey, what conclusions can we draw from this discourse? We've traipsed through the intriguing intersection of religious prophecy and modern global phenomena. We've delved deep into the biblical times, examining the prophetic scriptures that mention end times. We've also dissected the complex, multifaceted beast that is globalization. We've seen its rise, its impact, and its potential implications on our world. We've bridged the gap, connecting these seemingly disparate elements, uncovering the possible links between globalization and the biblical end times. We've seen how globalization could potentially fulfill certain biblical prophecies, sparking intriguing discussions and theories. However, we must remember these interpretations are subjective, varying as widely as the global community itself. They are but one lens through which to view the world. While the link between globalization and the end times remains a subject of interpretation, the conversation it sparks is undeniably thought-provoking.